example and component which is very very uh, which is little bit focus of this presentation so i try to cover what is module and what is component and then again uh, we move on to the next slide so as i said earlier that uh, modules are, are are mostly used for the uh, rendering purpose on the page which which displays um, like a box or um, typically like a box or could be anything else um a simple example for a mod module could be a login a banner which is shown somewhere on on the screen or uh, there could be a menu item which could be even the login uh, which could be the mo module apart from this if you want to display some some sophisticated information like the reviews and uh, some related products this could be your modules um uh, so another questions comes to in our mind why should we use a module first of thing uh, it can work as stand alone it doesn't need any database or something if you want to display a, a static information at damp places you can simply do it using a custom custom html module uh, so as as per this example it is good for code reusability as well and uh, once it is linked with the uh, component it can have a database linking as well so you can have a component uh, in, in the back end which uh, for example stores and records the re customer reviews and you can simply show those customer reviews at any page whenever you want in the that's it so for the conventions uh, the module name should be in small letters yes it is a convention and the module name should have a prefix mod underscore so mod underscore would be a prefix and your module name could be anything uh, obviously you would need to skip the um, most common uh, system names which are already in use so here is the example of a module we have a menu as the mo module we have a breadcrumb as a module we have a login box as a module we have some poll and some uh, latest items again the module and the search box even as a module and uh, the another new section for this the interesting thing with this with, with this particular search is it is uh, linked with three different type of extension extensions for example if you are seeing this search box it is a module but the functionality of this is supported by a plugin and when you see the search results it is actually a component so like i said uh, like i said earlier there could be more than one module on a page but there can be only one component on a page so in this screen there is one component which is the content component uh, showing on the screen so if there would be search results so there would be no more contents only search results will be shown and then there will be the next component module positions yes like um, i have shown on this particular screen there are different module positions and every module position depends on the template and uh, when you want to add a particular module position in template you would need to use a code something like this and uh, this uh, code will allow you to add uh, a new module position in, in the template you can find template file under the template folder and uh, whatever template you have created there is simply a file called index.php and you can add a new module position there yes there can be more than one modules on a page um when you are working on on modules and module positions uh, mostly in the templates you would need to find module positions if if you are not working on the template side um, there are other possibilities when you would need to define um a mod, uh, define a position to a particular module so say for example if you want to know where should i place my search module so you would uh, need to know what type of uh, modules are all available there what type of uh, module positions are available there so you would go to the joomla admin panel i would quickly go through this you would need to go to the, go to the joomla admin panel once you log in this you would need to go to the extensions top menu and then select the template manager once you are on the template manager please click on the options button 
it would take you to this screen where you can enable settings to preview model positions. This particular new feature was added in the Joomla 1.6 version onwards. So before to that, you were directly able to uh, add um, a tag on, on, on the page URL, which was the question mark TP is equal to 1. But from uh, 1.6 onwards, you will need to enable this here, and then only you can see the template module position, uh, the module positions in the, in the template using the short code. This is uh, and uh, this is an added security feature with the, with this method. So, say for example, if you want to see the template positions or uh, module positions on in your template, you would need to enter your site address, then the page name if it is, and question mark TP is equal to one. Yes, this is the short code which you should use. If you use this, it would reveal the module positions available on the tablet. All of these are the module positions. I hope it covers it. Um, for the, now let's move a little bit more into the development side of it. I'm trying to get more, more, more and more complex with the, with the programming side using this way. Um, when you create a module, it typically has uh, six files in it. Um, one of them is the module uh, module module name dot xml file. It, it typically stores the installation uh, related information into in, into the file. So whenever you in, install a new module, um, it will take the configuration from here and will do the necessary installation automatically. If you have set up some static uh, configuration details, it will. Uh, it will also be taken from from this particular file. The next file is the module name.php. This is the um, initialization file for the module. So whenever a module is used on the page, this file is called at the first, and it uh, creates a connection between um, all, all the other required files. So in in so so it is not a, um, so so in this particular case, you can assume it as as a controller. And the next file comes helper.php, which can be your model. And then uh, your views comes in, in the template folder, which can be your default, uh, which is your uh, which is default.php. So for the helper.php, it, it, it simply has some study functions to use. Um, there could be some very, very, very basic uh, calculations. It usually doesn't, um, a module doesn't have uh, the manipulation uh, functionality at their own. We have to rely on the components for this. And if uh, it is supported with a component, you can fetch data from database as well. Can you note that there is there is an index.html file which is kept uh, in, in all the folders of module. It is simply an empty file and created to uh, ensure that directory browsing is not possible. So whenever someone is uh, trying to open the directory direct, uh, directly, this particular file will get open and uh, the user won't be able to see the directory structure or the contents in it. Now quickly come to the component part. Um, like I said earlier, components usually take up the um, whole page area for, for the display and these are considered as, as the mini applications.